the truth is that Wayne is a practical joker. And it wasn't just working with him, but always being aware that something else was going to happen. Kept you on your on toes. On my toes yes. at all times. Weren't you instrumental in, I'd heard that you were instrumental in getting this Wayne back as Roman Brady. Yeah. I, I brought that up to the producers when they talked to me about it, yeah. Actually, the producers came to me begging to come back after this <laughs> And I knew I'd live to regret it. <laughs> so when you say you brought it up, did you say, listen, this is what I, were you demanding or was it just sort of a, you know, let's do lunch, bring him back kind no, of thing? No, when, when we discussed it, um, when I thought about coming back and the producer had, had, had approached me about it, I was trying to think of a reason that I would have been gone for five years and left my family and, and my practice and my friends and my home and all I could think of was that perhaps she had found the other Roman and that would have motivated her to stay away. They didn't do that, but they gave them the idea of bringing Wayne back. Yeah, yeah, there was a reason I was gone for seven years too. It wasn't <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to go into details, Wayne? No, I'm glad to be back. It's, 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 we're having fun and... Um, it, it, I'm it's having fun. Be... You're not having fun oh. yet. I'm having fun. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm not, I don't have scenes with you yet, so I'm having fun. <laughs> when we start working together... <laughs> I love her dearly. She knows that. I'm just kidding. We, uh, we have a lot of fun working together. Well, I know you love so dearly, Bill and Susan, that you went on and loved so dearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. We did it. You did. Thing that nothing ever, it's not the same, certainly. I never left daytime because I didn't like it. I left because I was going to our house and had a nighttime show. Right. And, and nothing equals the passion of the acting that you do in daytime. Nothing equals that. I haven't found it. Really? That's yeah. why you said you like do, do, doing drama again. Yes. yes, real drama. Real drama. Okay, yes. Drama. You did your holics. Now, what's this all about? Good job cooking for us. Now, when did this, when did this luncheon for your fans start? This, the, the lunch breaks began in 1982, when I got a letter from a woman in Northern California um, uh, who was going blind. And when her kids asked um, what she wanted to see before she lost her sight, she said, I want to see Marlena Evans in person. So I realized there was an entire group of people that had a need to be in Salem with these characters, more than just in the living rooms. And so I had a small luncheon for, you know, 100 people, and, and, uh, and then it grew and grew and grew. And what, what's nice about it is now a lot of the actors have begun having their own private luncheons also with their fan clubs. And I'd like to add over that Deidre always invited the rest of the cast that wanted to participate. So it wasn't just yay, yay, Deidre Hall Day. It was yay, Salem, yay, Days of Our Lives, yay, the whole cast. It made, and I do think she made a great contribution to, to the cast of the show and that we became more aware of the wonderful good that you can do emotionally for each other. Right. It's a lift for the fans, but, oh, it's great for the actors. Did you ever go to any of the lunches? No, I wasn't involved in the show at that, in, in doing oh, okay. the lunches at that time. Since then, I have my own club and love the people that are in the club. And there are no fans like daytime soap fans. They're not. I cried with her children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I cried right yeah. with you. She <laughs> makes you feel it. You're cry now. <laughs> the daytime schedule is so grueling. Do you watch yourselves or do you watch each other? I do. Very mm -hmm. carefully. Very carefully. 